<laughs> Greetings, fellow gamers. This is Small Archangel with Helix Oblivion in Rising World Co op, and we're tooled up and ready to go. She's I'm just hit me with her now. legend. What is, it? what is that? The uh, demonic sword? <laughs> This is the demonic just sword. Hit me with the demonic sword. Hence, I've lost, lost a fair chunk of my health, so I can attest that, in actual point of fact, the demonic sword does some pretty decent damage. Because I felt it. So, we've, we've got I think our. I it's only fitting <laughs> that I got the sword. <laughs> I can do the voice. <laughs> I Sorry think it's voice. very fitting, but I don't think you should try and keep that voice up. You'll kill yourself. So we've uh, got a new kitchen door on here, which is very nice. I do. I like the, this door. I do Whee! love the swinging doors. They're just Whee! ace. So, <laughs> so the house is pretty much finished now. We've got. Have we got a living room door? We do have a. Oh, I just sat on the sofa. I was through the wall. I was trying to shut the door. And I sat on the <laughs> sofa. That was weird. There we go. So our house is finished. We've now got a full set of doors which is lovely and the place we'll is looking bathrooms. good we've got bathrooms the only thing we've really got to do with the house now probably is uh build a stable hunting block. trophies uh hunting trophies well yeah <laughs> we'd like to build a stable block behind the paddock for the horses um, oh you but... need to friend me oh yes i do don't i invite to group there we go and then we won't get lost. So our Yay. plan today mostly involves <laughs> our steel. We're there. We can see each other now, can we? Yes, we can. Uh, Yay. Our plan today mostly involves these steel tools. And I can now remember who it was who said you should make steel tools. It was Bochiki. So thank you, Bochiki, for telling me. Thank Bochiki you, Bochiki. has also said we should make a drill, a mining drill, and a chainsaw for quicker harvesting of materials ah! wood and stone <laughs> and ores and we want to make an ore detector too don't we uh, but yeah. for all of this ironically even for the ore detector we need ores so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to go searching for why is there a random carrot there is mine it just, it's your carrot that's fine i'm not going to fight you for a carrot definitely not not with I'll that win. sword in your hand. I have the demonic you, sword. You have the carrot. Right, I think we need to head <laughs> uphill to find ores. And that is kind of in the direction I'm pointing. There's lots of okay. patches of My stamina's kind of dead stuff. now. <laughs> Obviously, there's no point in... You've run it all off. It's your own fault. I've no sympathy at all. Um, I'll get you with my sword. <laughs> not again. No, seriously, I don't, we, I don't intend to die this time. Not this episode. This is not Intention and actual vanity are two different things. That... I know that much i know well i found some coal already i can see some coal here so we're, we're sort of planning not going down caves we're planning on well, there's finding another pool. The surfaces there is a what there's another pond oh they're all over the place oh ooh, ooh, ooh. it looks can like i kill this goat here. really quickly oh now you have some planks don't you helix <laughs> i can see some sheep's feet sticking out of the stone in front of my face that's glitchy in a weird way um you have some planks don't you helix so we can make some easy access i do the have case. this was also suggested by Why another another bleeding? viewer i'm um, bleeding you're bleeding how yeah, the heck did you manage yeah by a goat i wanted to see <laughs> just how big fights with goats <laughs> i wanted to see how good my knife was. My sword was, sorry. Ah, right. And, the and goat I killed the goat managed... in two blows. It's pretty impressive. Yep, but it managed to butt you in the meantime. So if you've got any... Oh, yeah, just give it a go and see if we can build some sort of... Because that um... is quite a long way down, actually. I think the plank is going to be a bit short. But you, you might be able to put one down and then one kind of further than that. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll just have to mine down as per usual. I don't know. I'll try. Mine Will it let me here. put? You see, you can do that and defy physics. <laughs> you can defy. Yeah, you can, can. Yes, you can defy physics. Absolutely. This game does not really, really have physics. You see, there's just some yellow ore down there, which I believe is tungsten, and then on this side there's some iron ore, and we need both of these things. So. Be nice. Come on. It keeps just. I can't. It's Come quite on. difficult to get them to snap where you want them. Okay. We might have to make a very bizarre... Might have to do something bizarre. That's okay. We've done bizarre before. We can do it I'm again. I'm good with as long bizarre. As we can get back up again. This is the thing. Press F1 for help. 
You yeah. Just say so much. <laughs> yeah, you need help. We need help. <laughs> I think I can get back up there, she says. Oh, my goodness. I'm not sure. Oh, I miss. Uh, did you fall down? Ouch. I okay, did. well, as long as you can build something that comes up here. Now, I'm going to make, I'm going to take this one at the top and I'm going to, because I can't get back on it. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to see if I can put it where we can I use know, it. I know, it's tricky. You can actually resize planks to make them longer and broader. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you, the same way as you do with window frames. Exactly the same way. That way you can use less that. of them. Um. So, yeah. So if you hold down, what was it now? Was it shift? shift. Or you hold that down and then you uh, yeah, use the cursor keys. Oh, my goodness. No, that's not doing it. Ah, it's a particular shift. Right, there you go. Yeah, it might be one on one side and not on the other. I just kind of do it automatically, so I don't really think about it. I'm just going to take out some of this stone because at the moment it's impeding my progress a lot, our little plank way. And stone is useful to have anyway. So, even if our house is done, we've still got a stable block to build, and who knows, we might build some other stuff as well. I'll just take that out too. Okay, right, so. Okay. Tongue stood on that. So there's put a that there, here, but it's not much cop. <laughs> no, oh, there's a sheep down here. Hello, sheep. I'm not going to bother killing that sheep because, you know, it's... Uh, What's the point? Not yet. There's no point. It's not going to give me anything. It might give me a sheep hide, but we don't actually need that at the moment. What we need is we need we're running out of bacon because <laughs> because I eat bacon all the time. <laughs> but uh, apart from that, so what's we this mostly... yellow? Aluminium. Is aluminium okay? We'll go for whatever we can get. Frankly, at this point, we know yeah. we need lots of iron. So I'm grabbing iron at the moment because we need lots of that. The the other thing we want to make is a, a motorboat, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I love the fact that the inflatable motorboat? motorboat is made out of metal. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, what that sort of lungs genius. has that person got? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is, yeah, that is, that is, yeah, an inflatable metal boat. That hadn't even occurred to me, but yes, that is quite ridiculous, isn't it? Okay, so there's a bit of a cave over here, and I'm going to check it out. I've got 24 iron, which isn't tons. I've got some torches, though, so I'm going to have a little look. That's no more iron in there. I've got it all. And then I'm going to be very careful. Planky yeah, be careful going like... down the nostrils. Yeah, well, this one's kind of horizontal look. Yeah. So we have to check them out around here because you never know. We might have... Ugh, oh, now I can't see it. Okay, I might just place some torches here. I'm going to put my torch mounts in here and then I can do torch mount there. And I can see... I've gone down a nostril. Just yeah, it, it, it just yeah. Watch out for the vertical ones. Some of them are not vertical. This one's pretty horizontal. Though. Yeah, that's it's right. Cool. That's why it's useful to kind of search them out. Oh, I found another ore vein here. I don't know how big it is though. I got stone. Well, all I can see here is stone, so there may, may not be anything here. <clears throat> this is it. You see, if you've got an ore detector, you can sort of wave it around and it tells you what do you need for an ore detector oh the same kind of things oh there's some copper ore up here which might be useful um, where way up here um i went upwards uh you went so up I'm, and I'm, yeah i'm where you were before but this is above my head so i might just put this in here and then put a torch in there oh gosh that missed you see that's uh, what i thought i saw earlier Right, that's copper ore by the look of it. Yeah, I've got two copper ore there, so, you know. Um, i got stone. And then that one looks like it goes <laughs> downwards, so we should probably avoid that. I don't know if Oh, I, no, it's not go. that bad, actually. You've been down there, have you? Yeah. Okay, where does it lead? It just goes round back round. to the Round, okay. Well, this is not too vicious a cave, then, is it? No, There's it's a not a bad cave. Torch there, so I'm going to pick the torch back up again. And we should perhaps move on to a different location because I think we've pretty much got everything we can yeah. do. Ow! Do you want to pick some of those planks up? I will do, yeah. Uh, I'll need a crowbar to do that with, but that's okay, I've got one. Okay. So. Might take me a moment, but yes, we'll pick up the planks. Well, you just see, I'm, I'm just thinking it might be handy for you to have some. It will be, yeah. Oh, hang on. Let's do this intelligently, shall we? Let's get more behind <laughs> Yeah, me. don't do it from down in the <laughs> Duh. Oh, I've landed on your bathroom roof. 
I win. Okay, so we will resume in the morning. I'm going to bed in a full suit of armor with a crowbar in my hand. I'm going to go to bed with a torch. <laughs> You'll set your bed alight. Oh well. <laughs> I like to be warm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there we go. So, your health won't look any better this morning, I guess. <laughs> no, I may need more bacon. You may need more bacon. Well, there is some in the fridge. We could do with uh, getting some more pigs, I think, uh, for bacon purposes. So, uh, maybe we need to go that way for us. Oh, I don't know. Bacon! Head uphill again. If I see yeah. a pig, I'm going to hunt it because we need it. We need its rashers, frankly. We just we need to eat it. Let's be honest. We do, yeah. We you just need to eat meat. I mean, if there's any like if you get a beef steak, that'll fill in a lot of. If we've got any of those cooked, I've eaten that, a couple of beef steaks. I'm yeah. much better now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They are. When really bacon good just for doesn't cut health. it. <laughs> it doesn't. Well, we need medicine in this game, really, don't we? I mean, realistically, you need some. Uh, I'm going to ditch the stuff medicine. I mind as well. Right, I've got now, oh goody, I've got some ribs and I've got uh, some bacon off this piggy. So I don't have lots, but I kind of figure if I ditch it. Oh no, we, we have been there. Okay, so let's I'm see. I'm smelt, oh it's aluminium isn't it? I might as well smelt you, it. Yeah, you can smelt them down, no problem. Oh, I found some more piggies. Down goes the piggy. I'll guess. I'll get. I'll bring home the bacon. Uh, <laughs> it's literally that. There we go. And hide it. And a third piggy should just about do. She and says, this little oh, piggy it. went. <laughs> wee wee wee. Uh, yeah, but it's it's got away from me. It ran off into the massively neck high flowers, and I can't see it now. Not good. Oh no, it's leggy over there. You will not get away, piggy. I will have you for my breakfast. Oh. Come here. Hey. There's several different oils in here because I refuse to light it without it. Full. Absolutely. There is no sense whatsoever in wasting good coal right now. Wherever I first saw that pig earlier, there was some stone on the surface. And that is usually the sign of a cave. Definitely. Now I don't. Oh, no. I just died. <laughs> I just fell down a cave and died. I don't believe it. That I just fell Let's down a cave. It. There's a death marker on your map, I'm assuming. That, I assume, but no, I haven't got a map. Oh, that's true. I need to go and get a map. Silly me, I need to get a map, right? But I want my stuff back, obviously. Uh, map, 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 map. Right, there we go. Now I'll get a map. There is a death marker, so I can see where it is. I just I've need got to I've get got there. planks, so you can get down without dying. Dying. Yeah. Well, it it was really quite a very vertical shaft, which is why I just fell straight down it because it was t totally vertical. <laughs> Stupid me! I should have been much more careful. You'd think I'd know by now. You really would. So they hide though. Uh, yes. Sometimes you think that they're fine and they're not. And they're not. No, this one, I knew it was a cave because I said there's a cave and then fell down it. So a bit of a fail. Right, now let me just make sure this time I don't do it again. There's some really, really high yellow flowers and then the cave. And I think that's what happened because I couldn't see exactly where the cave started till I fell I down it. I just killed the biggie. I killed, I killed several, but the pig's meat is down here. Oh, I can see my feet. Oh, it's fine. God. I can see my feet, and they're not that far down. Do you need planks? No, I don't think I do. Right, can I, like, loot all? Yeah, there might be some ores down here. Now, this side of the cave, Helix, looks a little bit friendlier, actually. We look like we could actually just kind of walk down it and maybe get back up. So... Uh, I'm not sure how light. far. I can only get that far. Perhaps go the well, there's this, though. This is quite a horizontal. It is, isn't it? Let's just check In it fact, out. In fact, it's at the see. bottom of the vertical. It is. I think that is that was where I fell down there. I yeah. think it is. Yeah. Yeah. And there's one up there we could probably get up. Oh, I can see some more, in fact. Yes, 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 yes. We've got some ore here. Where is my... I need to put a torch in here. There is uh, some iron ore right there. Ah, you made That's me right. jump. <laughs> there. Sorry, what did I do? Just yeah. don't go jumping down holes. It's not it's not not cool at all. 
Right, there's another vertical drop here. Ugh, we've got to be careful of that then. And frankly, if anybody has to fall down, it's your turn next. But well, there uh, looks to be some ore here. What kind? Can you see it? I don't know, it's kind of orange and bobbly. That sounds a bit more like copper. Is it the right colour for copper? Could be. The noise it it's makes when you push down a torch holder. Oh, now I've found some ore of some sort, but I'm not quite sure what it is. I can't remember. This might be tungsten, actually, which would be great. Tungsten! Yay! I found tungsten. Tungsten always kind oh, of I got brown. More aluminium. Oh, aluminium's good. Aluminium is good. Was was it aluminium we found before? It was. Any ore is good. Any ore is a result. We're fine. It sounds so lonely digging down here. It does. It's just the way it echoes, isn't it? Now is that? Uh, uh, yes, that's. I think I've come right round in a circle. Actually, I've come back to where we started. So, because <clears throat> I'm above your head, directly above your head. Awesome. And I think if you go, ooh, if you go down here. Now, what's that? No, I, I want to put a plank here. down here and try and make it a little bit safe. Uh, but it's not letting me place planks, which is annoying. They can be a little bit... No, I nearly fell down there. They can be a little difficult. It has to be... Oh my gosh, I just nearly fell down again. They can be a little bit difficult to place, I think. What's this? This might be more... Okay, aluminium. see if I can get up Doesn't there. Doesn't look to be much here, but... This is where I'm going to get lost. I need a breadcrumb trail of torches, really. I'm... A lot of them, they, they do lead back up to the surface though, so if I can get back out, it's fine. I don't have to go out the same way I came in. No, and you this don't. cave goes down. Um, right, I'll go back on myself. Because I could probably get out Oh, it's here. iron. Iron is good. Uh, don't, how much iron have you got now? I've just pressed the wrong button again. Not much, I think I've got about three at the minute. <laughs> I've got 56 actually, so I'm pr doing pretty well. Um for that, but you've got a load of aluminium, haven't you? So, well, I've already put a load in the chest anyway. Just come right round. Oh no! Nice. You know what? I didn't think this was going to be much of a a scene, but it's massive. This ca this cave is huge. I've just I think I've just been round in a big circle, but I'm not quite sure. And you've got a good seam of ore, have you? I've got a really good seam of iron nice. here. It, it looks like just one little small square it's speck. It's true. I was like, I'm yes. Not doesn't look worth it, but I'll do it anyway. Yep, I know the feeling. I've got planks somewhere, haven't I? Yes. I and there was loads. Yeah, no, it's really worth doing that actually because sometimes you do find, even if you get one bit on the surface. Now I'm going to lengthen this plank as much as I can and make it wider as well, and then put it. Oopsie, not that wide. And then see if I can put it down here. But they are a bit of a pain to place sometimes. There. Getting lots of stone as well. Yep, that's right. Well, stone's pretty useful too, isn't it? Let's face it. Didn't we nearly run out after the last oh, Yes, we pretty much did, actually. So, you know, getting more stone okay, is good. Okay, I now have 36 iron ore. Okay, I've, I've just come down here and was zero point in doing so because it's a dead end and there's no ores showing. Of course, if we had an ore detector, we would be able to detect whether there was any ore here. I don't want a pickaxe at this point. At this point, I need a crowbar. That's quite there a way are. down. Oh, but there's that there. That looks... Oh, gosh. I want that. There we go. Right, let's see. I think I it's can... copper. Yeah, you get so that you can recognise the different types of ore eventually. Come on, let me do some of this. Right, I'm going to hop up here. I went up here before and I'm pretty sure... Why I got... can't I do this? What are you trying to do? I'm trying to put a plank. And it says wood plank has been successfully placed. I can't... Yeah. Oh, maybe it's placed through. So are you trying to get up here? No, I'm trying to get over to that bit there in front of me. Oh. Copper. Oh, gosh, I see. Yeah, I see it. Can you try and place a wooden plank? I plan? will. Be careful, that's deep. Yes, indeed. We don't want to. Yeah, you're right. That is aluminium ore, I think, isn't it? Is it aluminium? I, I wasn't sure if it was so. aluminium or copper. Right. 
So yeah, give us a torch, give us a light rather, and then I'll see if I can. I see right. you. It's letting you do it. Uh, I think I might let. Oh, I don't know. I might level it out a little bit though. Let's just try this. You see, Not it wouldn't that. let me do this. I, for some reason, I'd click on it and I couldn't even see the the plank. Okay, yeah. so you get to die with all the stuff in your inventory, but you can't see planks when you place them. Not okay. down here for some reason. That is a bit strange. Right, I'm just going to make this a little bit shorter, and then we should have, she says. I can't, I can't place it myself now. Okay, not sure I can place this so it'll go where we want it to go, and I'm trying not to die here. All right, let's just see. Oops, if we can get that to meet up. There. All right, there we go. That's now, doable. That is doable. There we go. Now we'll get is it this. Copper. Aluminium. Aluminium. This is aluminium. So we've got a bit of tungsten. We've got some copper. We've got quite a bit of iron by now. I've even got some coal. And we've got aluminium. Now what we're going to probably need is. Um, is there anyone missing? We're going to need some gold or. And that is something that you do have to find down caves. And I think that's our lot here. I think I've got the lot now. That could be interesting. That could be interesting in the, ah, no, I just died kind of sense, couldn't it, really? I just uh, think there might be something <laughs> down here. Thinking's dangerous. But yes, you may be right. I mean, generally speaking, if we want to find gold ore, down is the way to go. I think tungsten is down, too. Yeah, quite possibly. I found the last bit of tungsten I found was up from here, but you know, good lord, how are we going to get back out of here? Planks. Blanket. Blanket. <laughs> I'm going to give you all the wood. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you if yours are difficult to if you find it difficult to place them. I mean, you can't even see them when I'm holding them. So no, I can't. So there's something going peaked on there. Now, Ooh. can you get? The... Oh. Did you die? No, but it's you did a big cave system Good down here. Good grief, it's enormous. There's some light down there. That usually suggests a dungeon. I can see a dungeon. Can I you? Can see, yeah, I can see a dungeon down there. I can't even see you. Oh, uh, where That's are because you? I'm above your head. But there is a dungeon down there. I can see it. Right. What I'm oh, going to have wow. to do. Can you see it? Yeah. I'm going to place a, a torch up here. Um, Gosh, just because, partly because... One, oh! Don't move, I'm placing a torch. This is a good idea, but I am just trying to sort of mine my way down so that I can vaguely get down here and we might be able to get back up again. There we go. Oh, now that is, that's copper definitely, isn't it? It is, yeah. So, um, and then there is a dungeon farther down, which is cool. We should go for that. We should, shouldn't They've we? They've got we, great treasure. Maybe we should do that in the next episode. The thing is, like, well, I'm we can kind of full up. down there and mine. I'm kind of full down. up. I haven't got any inventory capacity. I'm full of stuff. Um, oh my! And there's another, a massive cave here as well. So I think we know where this is. We can mark it on the map. Um, I can put. I'm just going to mark it on the map exactly where it is. And it's well, we could make our way down there so that when we do want, not. It's Impossible. below where we are at the moment, and I'm just going to put... So there's a dungeon there, okay. and that is there, and it's dungeon, right, that's great. And then this, I will mark this on the map as well, the 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 uh, cave that I fell down and died. I will call dungeon... You can get down here now. Here you go, you can get to the dungeon. Really awesome. Great. So what we need to do is leave a breadcrumb trail of torches so that we can find the dungeon for the next episode. Oh, I've just found some tungsten, I think. So much ore. I'm getting so excited. You've got so much ore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to find the surface, which, you know, is kind of quite difficult, actually. Um, um, I've hit a dead end. Oh. Well, you had to find one sooner or later. Mm. Right. Placed you know the ore detector? Yeah. Does it tell you if there's ore beneath the surface? Yes, it does. It, it. it basically, like what, like the markers we have for one another, it basically tells it tells you that there is ore in a certain direction. Okay. So, um, you can see a marker and then you kind of dig towards it. 
So it's quite useful from that point of view. I'm going down a steep hole. Yes, I think I might have found my way back to this. I'm not sure. I'm going <laughs> deeper. Yeah, well, yeah, like I say, you can kind of afford to do that because you don't lose all your gear when you die. And when you've got a full inventory of stuff, you really, I mean, it's like Minecraft really, you don't want to risk losing it all and then having to spelunk for miles in order to get it back. That but I have true. found the surface. Tungsten is great if you can find lots of... Yes, I'm outside. Woo! Okay. Now, can you get back and help me? Slacker. Not a chance. <laughs> I'm going back to base to offload my gear um, because, yes, because I don't want to lose it. So I'm heading back to base. I've got loads of bacon and meat and ores and things like that, and I will lose them if I die. And I, I have this thing where I don't like to die what more than once in one episode. So <laughs> I'm heading back to base. I'm also dying of dehydration. I've got a water skin, but uh, I forgot to use, use it. it. Yeah, I know that would be really clever, wouldn't it? You see, I've just taken a swig out of my water skin. I'm going to, because my inventory is not completely full, I might just. There wasn't a lot do a of tungsten hunting there. on the way back. There wasn't a lot of tungsten. No. Right, where's the base? I think that's coal. Coal's usually fairly easy to spot because it's black. But it can just look like shadow. So It does just there. look like shadow. Now I've got a full inventory and I have to try not to fall down a cave on my way home. because just there are. be several. careful and look where you're going. I am doing, but I'm just kind of, <laughs> there's a big cave in front of me and I'm just having to go all the way around it. It's basically directly on a direct line between our base and the cave we were just going in. <laughs> it's yeah. a massive other cave. So, yes, I've made it home. Right. I'm going to put this stuff away quick before I can die. Oh, our looks like our, all of our ores that you put in have smelted down nicely. And there's a real collection of them, real selection of them. But it also looks like the furnace has run out of fuel. So, Oh, my goodness, they're all on the floor. Uh, of course they're on the floor because I haven't got anywhere to put them. That was stupid of me. Right, I'm going to put away as much of this stuff as I can. How far down can I go? <laughs> How low can you go? <laughs> How low can you go? Helix Oblivion goes into the depths of hell. <laughs> yeah, hell is a thing. So, you know, um, you could, in point of fact, go all the way to hell if you wanted to. What, seriously? Yeah, hell is a thing in this, so. <laughs> I didn't think that it was uh yeah really it is i've never actually found it but it is so there you go <laughs> now you know you, you can do. get to hell it's all kind of hellstone is like red and all smoldery and weird so it looks kind of volcanic -y. so can you so, mine yeah. it and bring it back <laughs> i have no clue actually i don't know right, i got some more just... tungsten Okay, well, I made it home. Helix hasn't, uh, so I'm safely home cooking the dinner, and uh, she's she's still down the death cave, the <laughs> dungeon death cave. Uh, <laughs> and in the next episode, we're going to check that out. So Helix is probably going to try and make her way back here to d to d drop off her inventory, and then we're going to go into the dungeon because it's a good idea to go into a dungeon with as much inventory capacity as you can possibly contrive, so you can pick up all that lovely loot. Um, and uh, yeah, I've managed to only die once in that episode, and we do seem to have got ourselves loads of ores as well, because I brought a load back. And how much have you got at the moment, Helix? Um, I've got da, 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 da. I've got 16 aluminium, 64 iron, 54 copper, 64 tungsten, two more iron. Wow. 52 coal. That is nice. 52 coal is definitely good because I've just fueled up the furnace a bit. But I haven't filled the furnace because if we leave it going and then you know, walk away and forget, it burns, it burns all the fuel out. So it's a good idea not to fill it completely because then it will oh, burn um, out. Our dinner's done. It will, yeah, it will just get rid of all of the coal. So, this, um, this mine literally goes, goes on, on forever. forever. Yes. Oh, there's a fire axe in the fridge, Helix. Did you put a fire axe in the fridge? Um, if I did, it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> Who leaves an axe in the fridge? Seriously. You know, a cup of tea I can understand, but an axe. <laughs> <laughs> right, 
Right, I'm putting it in the chest by the door, just, you know, so you know. <laughs> your steel axe is in the chest by the door. Or it would be if I could find space for it. Okay, it's on the second Perhaps page. Perhaps that's why it's in the fridge. Fridge, because you couldn't find space. Fair <laughs> enough, maybe, yes. But uh, anyway, so we hope that you folks enjoyed this. Oh my goodness, what's poking through the ceiling? There's a goat's bum poking through our ceiling. <laughs> Oh, ceiling. There's a sleeping goat's tail sticking through the ceiling tile. That it's is it. I think it's a goat anyway. I can't. It's too far up. I just wondered what the heck that was on the roof. Okay, that's ruined the decor completely. So as I was saying, if you've enjoyed it's a, it's this It's a new episode, type of hunting trophy. It is, isn't it? It's a goat's arse trophy. Uh, <laughs> It's better than a cat's ass trophy, I suppose. Um, yeah. So if you've enjoyed this nice random episode, do let us know by heat, heat, heating, hitting heating. that like button, heating the like Just button. Just gently caress and... the like button until it becomes warm <laughs> and malleable. And uh, leave us your comments as well. I dread to think what they might be. And we do hope you'll join us for the next episode. Till then, keep gaming, stay happy, and bye-bye from both of us. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.